Hi, we are going to do a quick number talk today to get ourselves ready for today's story problem. So the number talks that we're going to be looking at, the problems are all subtraction problems, but what I want you to really do is really think about the ways that you can find the difference in them. So here is the first one. You can follow along with all of the problems right on the slide as well. So the first one is 30 minus 19. So take your time and think if you have an answer. And then I wish we were all together so we could share and learn from each other's work. But I'm just going to sort of guide us in a direction that we can have a meaningful discourse and understanding of some different and new strategies. So I know in subtraction, we can always start with our big number and take away. But what I want us to really think about today is starting with that smaller number and seeing if we can add up to our bigger number. I'm looking and this problem to me is quite challenging. 19 isn't so friendly in terms of taking away, but I know that 19, if I actually if I'll start here, because I know I'm trying to get up to 30. So if I'm at 19, I can jump up one and that gets me to 20. And then if I hop another 10, that's going to get me to 30. And finding that answer in the middle of 11. Such one. Let me just grab my eraser. <laughs> Didn't have that one with me. Okay, your next problem, and again, thinking if you can find that difference, the answer in the middle. Our next problem is 30 minus 14. 30 minus 14. So if the last one was 30 minus 19, think how that one might help you solve this one. Think if there's a friendly number that you can use. If I'm thinking again about a number line and I'm starting at my small number, I know I need to get up to my bigger number. I know 14 is one away from 15. And then now I know my doubles fact, 15 plus 15 is 30. Getting that answer in the middle, 15 plus one is 16. Good job, so my answer here would be 16. Okay, good work, you guys. Our next problem, I'm gonna leave this one up because it might help you to solve the next one. Our next one is 30 minus 24. 30 minus 24. So looking to see if there's any similarities between these two problems, think how you can use them to help guide your answer here. I'll give you a few seconds of think time. Okay. So I know that 14 and 24 are a distance of 10 away. I'm seeing that my fours are the same in the ones place. What's changing is my tens place. It's going from 10 to 20. So I know that that difference is 10, which helps guide me that if this is just 10 um, more that I'm taking away, that my answer, then I'm going to take 10 away from here. So my answer is going to be six. And a way to really prove that again is if I look at that number line, I have 24, I'm trying to get to 30, 24 plus one, is 25 and then another five gets me to 30 so that difference of six but able to use the relationship between those two problems okay so if that one was six our next problem is going to be it's 24 um is going to be 30 minus 21. So 30 minus 21. So thinking what you can do between these that are going to help guide you. So 
So if I'm looking and I know that between 24 and 21, that's a difference of three, then I know my answer here is also going to be a difference of three. Now, is it going to be three more or three less? That's right, it's going to be three more. So six plus three is nine. So I'm going a greater distance. If I'm going from 21 to 30, that's a longer distance. 21 to 30, then 24 to 30. This is a longer distance, three longer, right? Than what this is going. So if this was six, I know I have to go another three, which is going to get me to that nine. Really good job, you guys. Can't wait to see what you do in the story problems today.